Hello from COP28 here in Dubai. I'm joined by the Vice President of the European Investment Bank, Thomas Ostros, who's in charge of health, life sciences and energy at the bank. Hi, Thomas. Hi. Nice to see you here. And I think it's important because for the first time, health is featured really highly at this UN climate conference agenda. Why does that matter? I think it's hugely important. And I think from the bank side, we see a very strong connection between the threat of climate change and health vulnerabilities, not least for the most vulnerable populations in the world. So I think uh, going forward, I really hope that health will be integrated into the climate discussion. How ready are we to deal with the health implications of climate change, be it increases in disease or waterborne problems, risk to infrastructure? The list is long, isn't it? Yes, it is. And I think we saw during the pandemic, quite brutally, it revealed how many weaknesses we have in healthcare systems in the world and how ill prepared we are for even tougher challenges going ahead with climate change. So I I think that uh, we need to close the investment gap, for instance, in primary health care to be able to meet the challenges that we have ahead of us. What are we doing at the European Investment Bank to tackle this challenge and how are we working with our partners as well? I think we are one of the banks that have a stronger starting point when it comes to integrating climate and health issues. We have strong expertise in-house. Mm -hmm. That is a prerequisite. We have a very strong partnership, not least with WHO, uh, Bill and Melinda, Melinda Gates Foundation, we work very closely with the European Commission, but we also have a toolbox that can be quite usable when it comes to health challenges. Everything from investing in life science companies to be able to finance primary health care. We need the whole toolbox box to be efficient. Thank you very much. And that's it from us for the moment. See you soon.